Hello all, I am Nilanjan from Informatica Global Customer Support. Today I am going to present on how to suppress the values of mapping variables and this video will also give you an overview of how to suppress the value of workflow variables which have been defined in parameter files. So today's agenda would be to define custom property for integration service, define mapping, session and workflow variables with appropriate suffix, run workflow to test if the variable values are getting reflected or not. So for the integration service INTEG underscore new we have defined a custom property that is where suffix to suppress log and the suffix uh, which would be taken into consideration is workflow so any variables which have been defined with the suffix of workflow will be hidden from the session log the values of those workflows will not get reflected in the session log So in the mappings we can see in the param in the declaration section of parameters and variables we have defined a variable as nil one and another variable as dollar dollar nil underscore workflow. So this particular variable has a suffix as workflow. I have defined an initial value of ABCD for nil one and an initial value of reflect for Neil workflow. Similarly, for the workflow, I have defined variables. One is dollar dollar param workflow. So this particular variable has a suffix of workflow, which is an end string, and this particular variable, Neil workflow variable, is an integer. And I am using dollar dollar param workflow over here in the workflow log file name and the value for dollar dollar param workflow has been defined in the parameter file if you can see here in the parameter file we have created a section for this workflow and we have declared the value of the param workflow as workflow log.txt Similarly, we have a session variable defined session log file name that is dollar pm ses log file whose value has been again defined in the parameter file. So now we'll run the workflow to see if uh, the values with appropriate suffix gets reflected in the session log or not. So it's running. So coming to the first variable, nil workflow variable. So this does not have a suffix of workflow. So this got reflected. We'll first see from the mappings. So parameters, variables, nil one should get reflected in the session log will search so this got reflected because it does not have a workflow as suffix the second is nil workflow this should not get reflected in the session log not not found text not found okay coming to the workflow variables this value should not get reflected the other one is this one this does not have a proper suffix so this should get reflected in the session log yes we have this workflow as 1 2 3 4 which we initialized as 1 2 3 4 over here Coming to the variable which has been declared here, 
So this does not have a proper suffix. So this should get reflected in the session log. So we have this in our session log. Thank you for watching the video and we would love to hear from you. You can see more videos on support videos at informatica.com. Thank you.